We have this minority of euro-negative vote, bigger than ever, but we have an overwhelming majority of pro-European still in the European Parliament. We are just out of European elections, which are um, a major source of concern, obviously, for all of us, especially in France, with the National Front, but not only in France. We can see europhobic or eurosceptic ideas rising, eurosceptic or europhobic parties rising, and it's clear that if the next commission is on the same track as the last 10 years, if it doesn't deliver more on uh, jobs, on growth, then the next elections in 2019 will be very tough. And that will mean that the European project itself is wounded uh, or defeated. The upcoming five years, I fully agree with Pierre and others, are crucial. If we can't deliver, and not only the union as a union, but also at the level of the member states, if we can't deliver in terms of jobs and in terms of living standards, then this minority of euro negative vote can become much, much bigger and threatens the functioning of the EU institutions. Mm -hmm. And that is what the French would call un autre cas de figure. Mm -hmm. We have to reflect on the procedure for the upcoming period. It may not mean uh, that we go back to the, let's say, to the previous situation. The previous situation which we need unanimity for appointing a candidate, president of the European Commission, president of the European Council, because then everybody has sufficient guarantees. He simply can say no. I underestimated the possibilities of changing uh, the policies within the Eurozone. Uh, I said, uh, since the crisis is over, now you can only uh, play at the edges, at the margins. But actually, I now see a real hope of a growth policy emerging, uh, which I didn't in, in the book. Uh, uh, and that comes from the uh, proposal by Renzi uh, to uh, exploit the, uh, a new source of credit that is untouched, namely the credit of the European Union, uh, and uh, introduce Euro project bonds. 100 uh, billion euros of project bonds could lead to 1 trillion euros of investment. Mm. In what? In the sectors which tomorrow can create growth and jobs? Europe needs, and that was my conviction long before I took this, this, this office, Europe needs a strong French-German cooperation. Even if that is at the detrimental of the powers of the President of the European Council. Okay. Because the main aim is now that, you're out of that we are progressing. <laughs> now we are leaving, I can say this more easily. Uh, but the, 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 the objective is that we are pr making progress on many fields as a union. Mm. And who is in the driving seat is less important. Mm. We are going to have that debate about some flexibility, not in the rules, but in applying the rules. Mm. I do agree with uh, Herman. It is not the most important point. But certainly, we could um, see the birth of new kind of contracts. You know that Madame Merkel as for contracts, contracts of competitiveness, uh, contracts also of discipline. Why not contracts of flexibility, meaning more reforms, more flexibility? So I think there are interesting debates in France of us, and I think that in Germany, uh, as a matter of fact, there is an, a new openness to those ideas. It doesn't mean that uh, Germany will renounce to its deep culture of stability. It doesn't mean that Germany is going to accept the Europe of solidarity or transfer. But I think there is consciousness. Yes, so I do. There is an opposition against the political project of the association agreement. But be sure, we have said also to, to Ukraine, and that, I think there's also the mindset of the new President Poroshenko, is we can have closer links with the Union, but we can have, and we have to have, good neighborly relations with Russia. But it, it's, it needs two to tango. Mm -hmm. And at this moment, very moment, uh, and, and even that's uh, already the case for the last months, mm. the aim of Russia is not to have a free, democratic, sovereign Ukraine, mm. but to have a weak, mm. 
unstable Ukraine who may not make the choice for Europe and for prosperity. Europe is now faced with a, a, an existential threat in, uh, emerging from what I call the new Russia, a, a, a resurgent uh, Russia that is uh, 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 offering a rival form of government uh, from the, uh, for the European Union. And uh, it is very important for the European Union to prevail. UK belongs to the European Union. But it is also up to the UK to make their choice. They are a member of the European Union, but they are not a member of the Eurozone, this deliberately. They are not a member of the Schengen Zone. They want further to repatriate powers from Brussels to London, some of them in, inside uh, in the UK they want it. So, if they are members of the Union, they are not member of, let's say, the broad range of integrations uh, of we set up inside the Union. So there will always be, for also for historical reasons, for there will all be a special member. The business community will eventually uh, make itself felt because they can't afford, uh, and Europe uh, uh, can't afford to lose. Britain. So I entirely agree with, uh, with you on that. You cannot accept to have a Europe à la carte. Europe, its institutions, its spirit, its policies. And Europe can be uh, comprehensive to uh, some British demands. Uh, Europe must take what it is. Uh, we cannot change the Europe. We cannot renounce Europe uh, in order to keep Great Britain in. So we need to have a, a dialogue. We can use all the possibilities within the current treaties to enhance the role of the national of the national parliaments. If you allow me, because I have unfortunately to leave, but there is one thing that is crucial, and the three of us had mentioned this. You will not solve the problem of the European idea and the lack of enthusiasm and the lack of adherence to the European idea only by new procedures, be it a strengthened European Parliament of a bigger role of the national parliaments. We need to deliver in terms of jobs and of living standards. If we have not that output legitimacy, then with all the procedures you can create, we will fail. So, if in order to prevail the European idea, we have to deliver, and that's why those five years are crucial.